Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Stellaris as the Sulevan Stellar Parliament. When we last left off, we had... Well, we had managed to beat the Khan's fleet. Wait. Petals of Grey? You're the Khan, but you were at level 10 last time. Now you're only level 3. Oh, wait, no. It wasn't Petals of Grey. It was Petals of Green, wasn't it? That was the name of the great con. Yeah, Petals of Green. We would like to discuss surrender. Oh, you misunderstood. We meant your surrender. Ha! That shall never come to pass. Your fate will be decided on the field of battle then, High Sulevan. It makes no difference to me. Your words will be claimed by the Viteriasis horde one way or another. Of course, then again, if we take out the con. These guys might form a nation that would actually be uh, friendly towards us. Also, moderate administrative sanctions for people who have broken the law. Oh, the Ithil concern is actually surprisingly strong. It also occurs to me, had I not intervened and made them like charge down this way, they might have gone after the Ithil concern. I feel these guys are too strong. I might have to cut them down to size. I can't do that. That would be that would be cruel. If, as I fiddle with my microphone because I'm no longer happy with its placement, uh, if no, we have to we have to come together as one. You guys actually want to join the federation, by the way? No, because everyone hates the. Ah, I've I've ruined things by letting these guys come into the federation. Uh, excuse me. Oh, oh, there you go. There's your little head. You, are you plant people or are you, uh, what are you? What is your species? Oh, they are plantoid. It says right there. Why did I think I had to hover over to see these things? In any case. All right, so we are slowly repairing. We are building up our, our fleet. And I guess we're going to just save up some resources here so we can rebuild the Armada. Which is all jolly good. Construction completed. As I am so fond of saying. Alright, let's get another upgrade in there. And of course, you know, trade and commerce and strength and peace. Oh yeah, they're, they're coming after us here. We're not going to have time to do all our scientific research. Oh, there's more Genogian auxiliaries over here. Damn horde. <laughs> you weak, spineless so-and-sos. Well, you know, at the end of the day... Wait a minute. Oh, these guys actually got a second planet. Good for you. I don't know how you managed to do that, but good for you. Alright, and what do we have over here? Subspace Rupture. At the Great Wound. Ooh, that's pretty. I think these are Void Clouds. Seriously though, like, look at this. That is really pretty. I like that. You gotta appreciate the wonder and beauty of such things. Anyhow, let's, uh, I really need another shipyard, because, uh, just the one. But that's how I play this game, which is probably why I would get stomped in multiplayer. But then again, I don't play for multiplayer competitiveness. I play for, uh, you know, my own enjoyment. And hopefully your enjoyment for, you know, those of you watching along at home. I want to build some more. I'll build two more city districts. I like big cities. Big cities are fun. You know what? Let's uh, build some agricultural districts and a few more city districts. Which again, very good. Uh, I don't strictly speaking need... Um, yeah, need that, but we will. Yeah. I think at some point as well, off camera, I'm gonna actually make an effort to figure out where 
for, oh, actually, build a, again, a couple of city districts. And then get more science. Because the more science we have, the more of those repeatable texts we can get. And the more repeatable texts, the better life shall be. I'd like this to be a... We, we need more administrative-y things, so let's get more administrative-y things. Good times. And you, you need more robot building centers. Also apparently need more amenities over here. Huh. Wait, why do I have so many of the- oh right, the researchy jobs. Right. Okay. Well, that's that's all well and good. All right. Oh, another never fleet, none of which are actually led by the Great Khan. Oh, where'd he go? I lost sight of him. Oh, here it is. This is Great Khan Petals of Green of the Viteriusus Horde. May defeat at the hands of the Sullivan Stellar, or my defeat at the hands of the Sullivan Stellar Parliament, was a minor setback, nothing more. The High Sullivan are brave warriors and worthy opponents, but they too will fall before us. The tide of history is sweeping across the galaxy, and nothing can stop it. My new armada has been assembled. Swear fealty to me now, while you still have time. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright, so... The Khan is back, though our forces have repaired themselves. I would like to build some kind of... Some kind of force. Let's see here. I'm gonna try to maybe trade some resources over here. Let's see. No, nope, not minerals. I mean, I think... Yeah, let's let's see what we can get here. Ooh, boy. Gonna be a close one. Real close one. You know what, actually? I, I want to make sure we have at least a little buffer of minerals. But again, I mean, this is... I'm still pretty sure... worth it, for the most part. Pretty sure this is better than, uh... the galactic market. I mean, you know what? They can turn the minerals into more alloys that we, in turn, will buy. So... it all works out. All right, and that'll give us what we need to hopefully, uh, you know, build more ships. And also a mega shipyard. That's that's what I should focus on as a uh, top priority. Where is my uh, where is my closest construction ship to the home worlds? All right, yeah. Let's go to Quesada. What the heck are you doing over here? Yeah, I want my... I, think I want my homeworld to have... The, um... The mega shipyard. We're almost there, so that's good. Alright. We'll, we'll make our way home. And we'll, we'll finish, you know, cleaning up our borders by and by. Alright, they did accept the trade deal. Big win for us, I reckon. And probably a good time to invest in more ships. It's gonna take, you know, a million years, but uh, we'll get there. Oh, what's this? Our investigation of New Bowderac has revealed nothing out of the ordinary. The satellite the colony used to communicate with their capital is still functional as far as we can tell. Interesting. Greetings from the New Bowderac Revolutionary Front. Oh god, no. We have thrown off the yoke of oppression and are at last free from the tyranny of Baldurak. We have no quarrel with you, High Sulevan, as long as you refrain from aiding the Baldurak imperialists in their inevitable attempt to crush our revolution. You can help us take the fight to our enemies. However, 
Would you be willing to deliver uh, one of our commando units to Baldurak? Tell us what you have planned. We want to infiltrate Baldurak with one of our elite commando units. They will then incite a popular uprising against the decadent elite that lords over our people. After, to the, after, the, after the tyrants have been deposed, all Daphnak will at last know what it is to have true freedom. A straightforward plan, if ever there was one, High Sulevan. Ah, uh, <laughs> All right, like, let, let's think about this for a second. Like, you know. I forget how this event goes. I don't think it'll result in... in the Bal... or in the Daphnak being destroyed. But... I mean, they're space communists, basically. History, I know what happened in the communist revolutions in in Russia, in China, and elsewhere in the world. Of course, well, I know what happened in revolutions in pretty much everywhere in the world. But uh, I guess specifically, you know, if communist revolutionary type stuff, like, communism is really, really great sounding on paper, but... Uh, you know, unless you're going for that fully automated luxury gay space communism that I've been hearing so much about in memes these past few years. Uh, yeah, communism in real life doesn't tend to, you know, it doesn't pass the test from theory to practice. So, yeah. How about we don't get involved? I mean, we'll just, you know, of course you're not. We wouldn't want the revolution to spread to the oppressed masses in your tyrannical empire. Can't- hey, hey, we are fanatical- well, actually, we're not. We are reasonable egalitarians. We believe in equality for all. My people all get, uh, universal basic income, universal health care, universal pharmacare, um, you know, reasonable taxes for all, um, you know, we have, uh, proper, you know, we have all the good things. I am building a utopia in this video game world that, you know, would be really nice if something even half as utopian as how I imagine the Sullivan Stellar Parliament can be, you know, existed in real life. But hey, you know what? I, I don't want to help you guys fight each other. That's what I'm, that's what I'm really trying to say. Also, our gateway up there is built, so that's great. Excellent. The EAM system is at maximum this, I guess. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave that be for now. Okay. Oh boy. All right, so where are you going? You're going somewhere else. Probably to join the Great Khan, wherever he is. Or actually, is Petals of Green even a he? Hard to say. I mean, he has a plan. Or... They, they, they are a plant. And, you know, plants. Evasive maneuvers. Oh, shoot. Why in hell would you go there? Okay, make the jump. I... Where are you going? You know what, screw it, just go this way. Get the hell out of there. Okay, and now they're coming after us. Okay, get out. Oh, hell. I speak on behalf of the lawful Daphnak government on Baldurak. We have received a manifesto from the group that seized control of New Baldurak, and boy, what a bunch of hogwash. These brigands and anarchists are a terrible embarrassment to us, High Sulevan. Will you help us stomp out their little revolution before it spreads here and someone actually gets hurt? General Paltanak has prepared an expeditionary force to retake the colony, but we'll need your help transporting it there. Alright. I think with this, I'm gonna stay out of it. You know, this is, this is an internal affair. And if there's one thing that uh, the Federation believes in, 
It would actually be cool if in the future these gas people could actually be treated like a regular empire and join our federation and everything, but that's a story for another time. The story for this time is, uh, you know, this is like an eternal, internal, political affair. I don't think it would be right for me to get involved morally, you know, to take sides and say, hey, the revolutionaries are the ones we're going to help, or hey, the government. This is something that the people themselves have to, you know, solve on their own. And, and, and I guess that's, I guess we're getting into some real world talk here, but like that's, that's one of the hard things in real life, I have to imagine that real world leaders and politicians have to go through. Assuming that they're not just thinking of, oh, hey, you know, what would be good for my country? You know, if they're thinking on, like, the large scale, like, when do you get involved and interfere in the internal affairs of another nation? Like, in something like this, like, this is a political movement happening right here. And, and you know, obviously there's allegory or um, parallels, I think is the word I'm looking for. Between, you know, fictional stuff like this and stuff you'd see in other science fiction and stories and stuff. And then, uh, real life. Like, when do you get involved? When is it okay to, as an outside force, come in? And I guess this doesn't even have to be on, like, a nation level. This could even be as, like, uh, I don't know. Like, when should a provincial government get involved in the affairs of a municipal government? Municipal? Municipal. Municipal. Anyway, and or like when should a federal government get in the affairs of a uh, provincial or state government? You know, like when do different layers in a society, when do different nations in a species, I guess, when, when should you interfere? If it's like a human rights issue, like, uh, you know, if there's like abuses on that front, probably makes sense to interfere. But then how far do you go? Do you send actual forces in? Do you just apply sanctions? I mean, it seems like in general, the whole sanctions thing is the direction we generally take on these days. Well, at least when it comes to nations that are nuclearly armed, because of course we want to avoid nuclear war. Uh, certain nations do have a, a history in this, you know, in the last couple of decades to invade non-nuclear uh, powers and, you know, smaller powers in the name of spreading whatever ideology you know huh <sighs> anyway the the long and short of this i'm not really prepared to have like a a real conversation about this i guess uh just kind of briefly touching on this as a hey you know like this is just a game but like this is stuff that happens in real life as well and it's a tough thing you know because we're, we're all connected, so to a certain extent, I guess I am going to keep going on with this for a moment. We all have a responsibility with each other, but, you know, I, I guess the idea is that you can't necessarily, even if you think someone or like a government or whatever is wrong, going in and enforcing your beliefs oftentimes... As we've seen throughout history, it oftentimes doesn't work out so well. Because if you start using force, uh, it's natural for people to resent that and to push back against it. You know, I guess uh, if you want to see real lasting change, it can't just be at the point of a sword. It has to be like you need to have conversations and relationships. You need to build connections. I guess, maybe. Anyway, you can solve your own problems. You'll be sorry once this rebellion spreads to your planet, Sai Sulevon. Don't think it won't. Oh, I'm sure. Please don't die. Okay, you managed to safely escape. That, that makes me glad. Okay, and you guys are actually... You've beefed yourselves back up a little bit. I can probably take these guys if it came to a fight. Though, I don't want to fight the Khan's entire force in one go. So, uh... Oh, wait, 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 no, no, you guys stay, you guys stay there until these guys catch up. Kind of, uh... Oh, and also turn you back to evasive. 
Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one, I think. But we'll uh, we'll do what we can. Because that's really all you can do in these situations. Oh, dang, gummit. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I guess. Uh, can't have a corrupt uh, robot. You're 92 years old, you're getting fired. Substance addiction, I can accept that. But corruption, that's a little bit too much. All right, there we go. Research concluded. Okay, where do we go from here? I think we'll, uh, you know, get that out of the way. And then... I mean, we we really don't even need that anymore. We'll go with attack speed, because again, someone actually did the math on this. I remember reading on the uh, Stellaris subreddit, where if you kind of balance between attack speed and attack damage, you actually get overall a better uh, return than if you go for just attack damage, or I guess just attack speed. Which, uh, I, I kind of, that seemed like a sort of common sense, obvious sort of thing to me, but, uh, you know, it's not necessarily an obvious uh, solution, is it? All right, let's, uh, let's go this way. Oh, and if I had done that before clicking to build all those ships. I'm going to stand by and not, uh start over, but uh, I should have kept that in mind before reinforcing. Alright, you do your research projects. And you, Mr. construction -y ship, let's uh, build a starbase here. I think I'm gonna have my military force... We're gonna hang out here and then we're gonna kind of figure out what we're doing to fight the Great Khan. Research Con. concluded. I feel a sneeze coming on. Not a good sign. And you know what? We're okay. System survey concluded. All right, there we go. Though I guess there's a bit of a danger here because if these guys block this, then yeah, they can't get back to our our ships, our fleets, our things. Yeah, I'll just have you jump. Just jump. And let's see. Mega Shipyard. We're lacking the uh, influence. But we'll get there. All good things come in time. This cache is still slowly making its way around the galaxy. Research concluded. I'm not a hundred per whoop. Not a hundred percent sure what to make of that. It hasn't talked to us yet. So, you know, I don't know what to, I don't know what to think. Oh yeah, we definitely want our superior robot forces here. I wish there was a better way to level up your admirals. Because, you know, we've got like, out of the way there, sir. We've got, you know, these guys and they're making good progress. But despite having these guys, oh, actually, never mind. We are reasonably, reasonably high level, but not as high level as I would like to be, perhaps. Uh, let's see. Again, there's all this technology I could be researching, but, uh, actually gonna just keep pumping up the hull points of our defensive platforms. The more damage they have to... they have to do to destroy our ships, the better. I think. Possibly. What do we got here? Are you the Great Con? No. You're just the Auxiliaries. Where the heck is their main fleet? Not really sure. The Senate has also passed the research sanctions. Good for them, I guess. Hmm. Ford Garrison Station. Armada of the Voidborn. I don't think they'll pass through the Fallen Empire space. Interstellar debris analyzed. But I should be prepared for the possibility that they might. Because you never know. 
Oh, look at that. These Construction guys are... Construction completed. These guys are doing pretty well for themselves. All right. And I should I should save up and I should build a gateway here. But before I do that, let's also, you know, start upgrading this. I have these guys make sure they're orbiting the station. And you know what? I'm actually gonna have you guys join us. Your home base will also be uh, the shipyard. Though I should probably spread them out at some point in the future. Whenever it's convenient to actually do so. Well, well, that's... That's doing pretty well. Life is good in the Sulevon Stellar Parliament. Just need to figure out where Research the heck the completed. con went. The darn coward's hiding. He's hiding on me, I tells you. And I'm gonna find him. Sooner or later, I am going to find him. Oh, and we've finished the story. A speculative, psychological, and sociological investigation of the fungoid species' culture gave a disconcerting answer to the mystery of their disappearance. At some point, the species as a whole start to question their perpetual and seemingly pointless life cycle. A seed of existential nihilism grew in the entire population, culminating in a final act of defiance against their own survival instinct. Once planted, perhaps even by a single being, this kernel of doubt spread with terrifying speed through the hive mind, until they decided in unison that the last crop of birth pods should not be planted. They should be burned. Oh, jeez. Well, that's a sad end to this. That's actually not the end to that story that I recall. I remember hearing a complaint about um, these little archaeological things that, uh, like, they were all the same, but I'm pretty sure they actually have different uh, outcomes. Pretty sure, anyway. That is a very sad outcome indeed. I think I'm just going to have you uh, maybe auto explore and you can go where you will. Actually, I wouldn't mind, uh, just don't go to the Freire system. What if I survey the rest of their, their empire? You know, just, uh, just to get a feel of what's going on there. And that's probably where we're going to pick up next time. For now, however, it's time to say goodbye. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. There's the cons chosen right there. And I will see all you in the next video.